Hello, and welcome to Faith Fellowship's Daily Word of Encouragement. I'm Walter Bacon, and this is my lovely wife, Ramonda Bacon. And today we want to look at the Beatitudes. Most of us know them, they're from Matthew chapter 5. And babe, when you think of the Beatitudes, why is that encouraging to you? It's encouraging to me because it's God's promises, his blessings, you know, and who doesn't want God's blessings? Exactly. And talking about blessings, when you think of being blessed by God, mm. what do you think about? How would you explain that? Um, for me, it feels as God is with me, like he's carrying me along the way, like he's uh, pouring into me. He's opening up doors like I feel his presence. I see things happen that I know that it was God. You know, those are blessings. And also, you, you're a oh, blessing. <laughs> you're a blessing to you're me. You're a blessing too. But to have a husband that serves with you, and we both love Jesus and our family too. They are all loving and serving. It's a blessing. So that's what it reminds me of, yes. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, so let's get into the Beatitudes. Chapter five, verse three, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. And when I think about poor in spirit, I think of those who are hungry, who know their need for God, mm -hmm. right? And he said, theirs will be the kingdom of heaven. Yes. So the next one, verse four, blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are those who mourn. I think about the shortest scripture in the Bible, which is Jesus wept. Jesus cried. He cried, he mourned for the people. And I feel that we are to have the same compassion and empathy for folks, right? I know I'm an empath. I really care for my brothers and sisters. I don't like to see anyone low and I'm always trying to encourage and speak life. So that's what that scripture means to me. Awesome. The next one, blessed are the meek for they will inherit the earth. Yeah. Now, when I think of meek, I think of power under control, yeah. right? There's a verse that says in Philippians, in your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus or attitude, yeah. who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his advantage. That was mm. power under control. Amen. The next one says, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Mm. Wow. I... I think that means that we should always want more. We should always continue relentlessly seek God face for all that he has for us. You know, just thirsting because people think material things really fill you and complete you, but there's still a void there. Mm -hmm. And that void, nothing can fill it but Jesus. I don't care what you obtain in life. We're to have good things, but Jesus completes you. And he's the only one that can fill you. Mm. Yeah. The next one says, blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. mercy. Yes. So with that, I think of the verse in Romans 5, chapter 8, that says, but God demonstrated his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, mm. Christ died for us. In 1 John, it also says, he loved us first. Yes. Therefore, we love. So mm. we've got to be like Jesus. The next one. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. What does that mean to be pure in heart to you? Um, when I hear that, I just think of someone that's just innocent. No hidden agendas, just just positive, just open, you know, just pure in hearted. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's my thoughts. Okay, next one. <laughs> Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Mm. I definitely am encouraged the fact that I am God's child. Yeah. So that makes me feel very good knowing that God is my father. He's Amen. looking out for me. Yeah. Uh, the next one is blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness sake for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And added to that, blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. <laughs> Rejoice and be glad because great is your reward in heaven for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Hmm. So, what do you think John 15, 18, babe, it says, if the world hates you, hmm, keep in mind that it hated me first. Means that God already knew, he's telling us that we're going to be persecuted. We won't be exempt from that because he experienced that. So for me, I take it kind of personally, if I can just do that really quickly, because I, my Facebook, my workouts, everything is Jesus, Jesus. And I know people are like, come on, Ramonda. Well, that's my love. He is my first, sorry, babe. He is my first love. <laughs> 
and I love him. So yes, I will never deny him. And I know that we may face persecution because of that, but just stand firm. Do not waver. Do not waver because you will be blessed. So to sum it all up, why these are encouraging is because they come with promises. Yes. They come with God's blessing. That means he's going to help us out, lighten our load, lift, go with us, uh, give us favor, all those things. Yeah. If we have the same attitudes that Jesus has and, and we behave the same way that he behaved following Jesus. We hope this encouraged you today. And until next time, don't forget to subscribe yes. and hit the bell so you get notified whenever there's a new daily word of encouragement. Yes. God, God bless you. Bless you. You're a blessing. Thank you. Great you're, teacher. You're very much a blessing. <laughs> Remember the B attitudes. God bless you.